Finally, nandito na ang phone na inaantay natin. Ang Huawei Mate 60 Pro. Thanks ka pala kay Shandy Basangkay for helping me score this one. Kahit sobrang hiram makuha to sa China, it's finally here. And the phone nito has been selling better than the iPhone 15 Pro Max in China. Sobrang hype nito, sobrang hiram makakuha, sobrang scarce ng stocks nito phone nito. In this video, alamin natin kung worth it nga ba itong phone na ito, all of those hype. Totoo ba sobrang ganda nitong phone na ito? Lalabas nga ba sa global? Alamin natin after this quick unboxing. So guys, sakitin na natin ang unboxing ng phone na ito. And medyo nagbago ng kanyang design. Eh mapapansin mo ang kanyang camera ring dito sa likod is similar sa Huawei Mate 14 na series. But yung lapad ng kanyang phone has been back to Huawei Mate 10 na series which is yun ang mga early design ng Huawei Mate series. Medyo mas malapad siya eh medyo mas shorty siya ng konti. Sa mga bago no, like Mate 40, Mate 50, makita mo a little bit more slimmer sila pero mas matangkad sila. So one of the problems na na-encounter ko dito sa phone nito is medyo hirap umabot sa dulo ang aking daliri. Normally ah, mga phones, kayang-kaya ko naman mag-type ng corner to corner, abot ko lahat ng buong keyboard using just one finger. But this one, medyo nahirapan na ako kasi malapad siya. And ang color na meron ko dito is the most popular color na meron nila is the color green. Kita natin no, parang may separation siya dito. Akala mo madi-detouch to like a battery but hindi naman. Kita natin medyo may mga design dito na flowery design. Dito sa ilalim, it's a plain design na color green. Sa ibaba makita natin, it's just the IR blaster and a noise cancelling mic. On the side, it's the power button and of course, the volume rocker. Sa ilalim, ang kanya loudspeaker and of course, kanya SIM tray is here. And pag sinunod natin, ang SIM 1 is a nano SIM slot. And ang kanya SIM 2, pwede mo nalagay ng nano SIM or pwede mo rin gamitin ng nano map ni Huawei. And sobrang breakthrough tong phone na ito dahil it's already 5G capable. Probably it's inside China only. So I've been testing itong phone na ito using Globe and Smart. I could not get any 5G signals dito. Maybe on future updates dito sa phone na ito. But as of the moment, tinry natin dito parehong 4G si Globe and si Smart. Huwag na natin pag-usapan si dito. Now, one big feature na meron dito sa phone na ito is ang kanyang satellite calling. Kita natin dito sa menu, there's something called the satellite network. Ang kinanggandahan na itong satellite calling, let's just say na nasira ang, ang kotse mo sa gitna ng nowhere. Nasa gitna ka ng desert, nasa gitna ka ng ocean. Biglang nasira ka ng barko, nasira ka ng kotse. You can call for help using itong satellite feature na ito. Hindi siya umaasa sa cell site, umaasa siya directly sa satellite giving you an emergency call when you need it. Sobrang importante ito guys. Sana magkaroon din ganito here in the Philippines pretty soon. Mapapansin mo dito sa kanyang camera module, meron siyang tatlong punch hole. Yung kanyang gitna is ang kanyang camera sensor and the long gilid niya is to enable you to take a 3D biometric na face scanning. But did you know, pwede mo siyang gawing dynamic island. Pakita ko sa inyo guys. Pwede natin siyang gawing dynamic island, pwede mo itago, and it looks better kaysa yung tatlong butas na ganito. Now, itong phone na ito is powered by the Harmony OS na version 4.0. It's, there's a lot of improvement dito, lalo sa mga teams and some of the widgets na magagamit mo. And one of them is this one. Pwede mo itago everything under isang widget. Swipe, swipe ka lang para to save some space. Now, ang kanyang display is a 6.82 inch na LTPO na AMOLED display. Sobrang ganda and sobrang crisp ang kanyang display dito. And it also has a 120Hz screen refresh rate. And what's nice dito is more reinforced ang kanyang screen sa harap. It's a Huawei Kunlun Glass version 2. Tougher than ever. And of course, ang gilid niya is aluminum side frames. And glass finish ang kanyang likod. Hindi na natin try smash to sa whatever na gusto natin smash since alam naman natin gano'ng kalakas ang Kunlun Glass. What more si Kunlun Glass version 2? May nakita ko mga video sa Huawei Mate 60 Pro na torture test. 
nilaglag nila sa washing machine no after 30 minutes of spinning i guess buhay na buhay pa ang phone na to and by the way guys this one is also ip68 rated so meaning pwede siya mag swimming well under the pool lang si hindi kasama swiping on your social media dito is definitely fast dahil sa kind of high refresh rate and watching some videos dito is also equally good dahil sa kanyang ganda na display na ito. So what I like din dito sa kanya sa front glass is also curved screen na sa kanya taas and sa ilalim and also ang kanyang dalawang gilid. So making it quad curved na glass. And marami rin naman nagsasabi na Kirin is back. This one is sporting the Kirin 9000S. And I've been checking ang kanyang Antutu benchmark. And sad to say, it has to surpass the 700,000 na points mark dito sa Antutu benchmark. Ito lang score na nakuha niya. Probably the only reason kung bakit ganito score niya is dahil gumamit siya ng Antutu benchmark na 3D light. And ang kanyang GPU score is zero. Probably kung in mo ng 200 plus dito, maybe you'll be getting a 900 points dito. Probably it's not yet optimized. I'm not sure bakit ganito nangyari. I've done this for more than 25 times and same pa rin ang result. Maganda naman kanyang loop score dito sa wildlife na extreme stress test but ang kanyang stability is just only 55%. Ito ang score niya sa Geekbench, sa CPU benchmarking and ito naman score niya sa GPU. Same problem din sila, hindi nila matest ng fully ang kanyang GPU. And ito naman ang score na nakuha ko dito sa thermal throttling test. Started green, naging yellow and namula siya dito bandang sa dulo. So it only throttled to 70% ng kanyang maximum performance. But at the end of the day, I would tell you na ito phone na ito, you are not supposed to be using this just for gaming. You are going to use this for its camera performance which pag-uusapan natin in full detail a little bit later. Now, the phone na ito has 5,000 mAh of battery and it can also last you for one whole day without any problem. This one can fast charge up to 88 watts using its default charging brick. Kaya rin niya mag-support ng 50 watts na wireless charging and 20 watts na reverse wireless charging sa likod. So guys, pag-usapan natin right now ang kanyang gaming performance. So I did play 3 games dito sa phone na ito and I was able to play Farlight 84, Call of Duty Mobile, and of course Genshin Impact. Itong phone na ito, I was surprised na meron pa siyang parang game boost mode dito. Pag sinwipe naman siya, makita mo meron siyang game acceleration mode. Not much that you can calibrate here but uh, at least meron kang ready na pantulong sa'yo to give you the better experience sa gaming is very much appreciated dito sa phone na ito. Now, you just need to turn it on para magamit mo siya, no? And there's other function dito na magagamit mo like uh, screenshot, brightness lock, and of course, uninterrupted uh, gaming or you can also screen record your game. Now, you can see if all of the function dito na kailangan mo all in just a single touch. So, sa Call of Duty Mobile, ang gameplay was really smooth. I was able to set it to all high settings and the gameplay was really fast-paced. Makita mo yung mga characters pang litaw na litaw and I was able to play the game for roughly mga isang oras dito. Wala ka talaga mafeel na frame drops dito sa game na ito. Moving on to Firelight 84, all high graphical settings. Medyo uminit tong phone na ito. Pero wala pa rin ako na feel na lag dito sa kanya and I was able to play roughly tatlong VR match dito sa kanya and it was really nice sobrang smooth din ang experience ko dito sa kanya and pag natin mo sa Genshin Impact sinagad din natin itong game na ito so after mga umapat ang mga 15 minutes medyo mafibig ko there is some drops along the way and pag tumagal ka ng mga 13 minutes medyo uminit din ang phone na ito and umapat siya roughly mga 44 degrees Celsius based sa aking thermometer and yung game na ito after you play for an hour dalagang mafibig mo ang frame drops sa kanya lala ko again you're engaging in heavy battles. Now, at the moment, I guess you all been waiting for a kind camera performance. Let's dig into deep detail itong kanyang camera niya. And of course, this one has really awesome na camera mode just dito sa likod, which has this ring, na star orbit ring niya, na also the same as the Mate 30 Pro. So this one is composed of three camera lenses. Meron siyang 50MP na main camera sensor. Tapos may OIS na meron siya 48MP na periscope telephoto lens which can go up to 3.5 na optical zoom and 100 times na digital zoom. Meron din siya equipped na OIS. Then of course, we have a 12MP na ultra wide lens na meron na field of view na 120 degrees. Then this one can shoot up to 4K and 60fps. And kind of front facing camera, meron siya 13MP na ultra wide na lens with a 3D na depth sensor pang biometrics, 
and of course it can shoot up to 4K and 60 as well. So itong phone na ito, sinagad-sagad ko ang kanyang camera experience. So ang dami pong pictures na kinuha dito over for the past 3 weeks na experience ko dito. And anyway, let's start off with the outdoor shot. So sa outdoors, I was able to take in some really nice and detailed shot ng mga halaman. You will see very detailed ang kanyang mga leads na nakuha ko. No? And on sa likod, makita mo yung mga kanyang pagkaboke is very nice. Sobrang ganda eh. Sobrang sharp ng mga photos na nakukuha ko dito on outdoor condition. And we take a look at some of the building shot na nakuha ko na medyo gloomy. You'll see that the buildings is very detailed. Pag was a zoom in mo dito sa kanyang mga pintana, you'll see all of the details as well. Now, I did try to play with yung kanyang uh, ultra-wide lens. And I'm really lucky na sobrang stable ang kanyang water at that point of time. So, makita natin yung reflection dito na kuha natin. This one is the ultra-wide na shot. This one is a normal shot. And makita mo the difference between yung cloud. So, medyo mas darker ang blue ng sky. And pagdating naman dito sa normal shot, it's a little bit more bluish. Now, let's zoom in using a 3.5 times zoom kanyang uh, periscope telephoto lens. You'll see na some of these details are very much preserved lang na dito sa mga barko, no? And of course, sa mga building. Makita natin, lahat ng details dito is pretty much intact. And pag ginamit natin yung ganun, 10 times zoom, kita natin dito na it's very much readable by the Birch Tower. Kita-kita natin na it's very clear, very usable pa rin photo na ito. I'm not quite sure if using up to 100 times zoom would look good. But we didn't bother to try it anymore. So tinay naman natin dito sa low light. Was able to take in some of this shot. It was really nice. No? Very detailed. The food na ito. It's quite yummy. And ito mga isaw din. No? Looks really nice. And medyo makolesterol nga lang siya tingnan. And some of this barbecue also looks pretty good. Taking some product shot like this. Kita natin ang kanyang details. It's sobrang ganda. No? If you look closely dito sa kanyang fabric. No? Kitang kita pa every single detail sa sabatas na ito. If you're taking low light shot mga resto na medyo low light. This is probably one of the best shots na kuha ko in low light condition. Ganito itsura if you're taking some fruit shots. So I was fortunate to take this cut shot. This one is a one-time zoom shot and this one is a 3.5 times zoom shot. Very clear. Kita natin mga whiskers niya is very preserved. Ang ganang details. And it looks really nice. Sarap ng tulog niya. Next, ang dami ko shots na nakuha dito na gusto ko ibahagi sa inyo. No? But of course, due to limited airspace dito sa channel ko, na I don't want to keep you waiting I'll be posting most of them sa aking Facebook page so do follow me on Gadget Psychic para makita nyo most of the pictures that I'll be posting there coming from this Huawei Mate 60 Pro now guys ang kanyang aperture dito you can play it from aperture 1.4 to an aperture 4.0 so this one enables you to get that extra nice na bokeh shots. And remember na ito is also a mechanical na aperture. So it gives you that starburst or sunburst effect which you'll see on some photos na nakuha ko dito on low light. Like this one. Kita natin dito on this uh, Christmas decor na shot. It's really nice. Ang ganda, no? And makita mo yung kanyang ilaw is parang star or sun na pag bigla na burst ang ganang effect ang ganda this only is achievable sa mga mechanical na aperture and further looking at some of the low light shot na nakuha ko grabe guys sobrang ganda din low light performance din ng phone na ito I was able to snap in some really really nice shots sa lapitan arcade with this really awesome na mga Christmas decors and you'll be seeing more of them when I post it sa aking Facebook page and looking at this photo, this is probably one of my favorite shot na nakuha ko no medyo reddish ang sky. I whip out my camera, took this shot. This is just a point and shoot na shot. And it looks very nice and very dramatic. I promise you guys, tung shot na yan, no, uh, I wish I could have gotten a better view but this is the best view that I can get. And this is the probably one of the most dramatic shot na nakuha ko on this phone. And of course, how can we forget the moon shot? At ang Mate 50 Pro, makita natin na medyo mas whitish ang kanyang moon before. But this time around, makita mo, it's a lot more detailed than before. Probably in highs nila konti ang kanyang algorithm to make it look a little bit more like the moon. And this is only using a 58 times zoom to capture the shot. Hindi ko na siya sinagat to 100 times zoom. And it looks really nice. And now, checking the front-facing camera. Ang ganda rin ng mga shots na, no? Makita mo mga clouds niya. Not really too much focus in my face. Uh, yung pagkuha natin ng subject niya is really nice. Very detailed na aking mukha. But, yung mga details sa likod ng mga clouds is also the one that I'm looking at. 
and of course itong uh, bangka na ito and of course the reflection on the water it looks really nice itong photo na ito this is using the front facing camera some some more outdoor shots for you to see and taking some indoor shot it's also equally nice now using the front facing camera to take some vlog i would highly say na well mention na mumuti ang konti I'm not quite sure why it's like this on this one. Parang hindi pa nako color grade ng tong video na ito. But the camera is definitely very stable. And pag binlog mo naman siya on indoor condition, I feel na medyo a little bit yellowish naman ako dito. Now taking a simple walk dito sa Arbor Square sa Manila Bayside, I would say na the camera performance is really nice sa kanyang video, taking a 4K and 60 FPS na video. Very stable, very smooth, just using my bare hand. So guys, sinagad sa dati itong phone nito on video and dinala ko siya sa concert ng The Course last October 22 na sa Araneta Coliseum and we're seated on front row and I was able to use this one sinalang ko side by side together with the P60 Pro uh, taking turns off for every 25 minutes switch, uh, switch ako ng phone dahil medyo umiinit siya it's pretty much normal on any smartphone dahil we're recording a 4K in 60 and mapapansin mo iinit talaga siya after 25 minutes and makita natin no itong video from the Mate 60 Pro maganda nga ng sound recording but medyo a little bit more overexposed now ito naman video na nakuha ko sa P60 Pro which I think uh, is a lot better mas magandang kanyang lighting and it was able to give me that better experience when watching this video sa P60 Pro I'm not saying na si Mate 60 Pro pangit but si P60 Pro tend to make it a little better dito sa low light performance now I'll be linking it up here kung saan na pwede makita yung dalawang video para ma-experience yung ganda ng camera nito on night video and of course sa P60 Pro and so after everything na shinare ko sa inyo, itong phone na ito is very promising. Ang Huawei Mate 60 Pro is probably one of the phones that you should consider if you're looking for a very nice camera phone. So siguro if this one debuts globally, which I think hindi siya lalabas globally dahil sa kanyang uh, US ban na hindi pa rin nalilift and it prevents them from using or selling 5G phones outside siguro ng China. Ang performance ito phone na ito is definitely off the charts. Wala akong masabi, sobrang yung ganda. Ang kanyang camera is sobrang ganda. Probably even better than the Huawei P60 Pro. Si P60 Pro is currently the number one sa DxO mark. So once ang nabas to globally, if ever, well, it might dethrone the P60 Pro. Except siguro sa night mode na video taking, this one is a little bit more overexposed than the P60 Pro. But on the other aspect, well, I would say that this one was a lot better than the P60 Pro. And ito 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage sa po ako at ano mga 70,000 pesos with the help of Shandy Masangkay para makuha lang to. Sobrang yung hira makuha na to. We spent around now one month just to get this unit. And kung meron kayong inquiries pwede yung channel kay Shandy Masangkay, I'll be linking on the description box below kung saan na pwede mabili itong phone na ito. And ako personally, marirecommend ko talaga siya to any people who likes photography and even videography. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to share to your friends. And a subscription to this channel will definitely be top notch. I'll see you on the next one. And so, ako para sa Richmond and you're watching Gadget Psychic. Watch out! Like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. For one of my latest uploads, click the dito. And for one of my popular uploads, click here.